What's going on guys, gonna be playing some Pokemon Showdown today in the ZU tier and using Choice Specs Charizard. Charizard dropped to ZU with uh, the May tier shifts in ZU and actually something else to mention with the ZU tier shifts is that uh, Articuno, Hitmonlee, Sceptile, and Tornadus have already been banned um, at the time of when I'm recording this on Monday. They're not reflected on the ladder so I believe you can still actually use them all but these guys all have been banned, let's see. Has it been updated? No. So we may still run into them but they have been banned and in their post they did mention like Ember and Glastriere and Grassy Seed and some other people mentioned some other stuff and uh and whatnot obviously things are probably going to be changing for a little bit because of uh how many Pokemon just fell and whatever but um it sounded fun to use Charizard in the meantime um and be able to use Volpix with Drought because it I think it was banned or ZUBL I don't know whatever it was it wasn't usable and I never used it in ZU so I wanted to try it while it's available right now so it sounded fun to pair with charizard since they're both available and of course we got the shiny charizard because shiny charizard looks sick and yeah pretty straightforward sun team i think but we'll go over it real quick and then we'll get in the game so we've got the charizard uh i was back and forth between terra ground and terra fire if you go terra fire you could oko and a saw vest electros but with terra ground you can just like stay in on anything basically like a Joltan comes in and tries to Thunderbolt you or a Volt switch on and you just kill it. Other electric types that try and do the same thing. Uh, Scarf Embor could come in and try and head smash. I don't know how much you take from that, but that was uh, there was a game where I was like, oh, I could just tear it ground, but I don't know if I want to tear it here. Stuff like that, tear it ground is nice for. Um, I'm going with Terra Ground for now just because it kind of sounds fun to be able to do that. But the idea is just uh, with the solar power, of course, you have basically uh, choice specs built in with your ability if sunny day is active the pokemon's attack is 1.5 times and it loses one eighth max hp at the end of uh, at the end of the turn and then choice specs also gives it 1.5 when um what was it the fish the fire fish guy got banned in ou at the beginning of the gen i remember people using charizard just kind of for fun because it would basically hit as hard as that what is that guy's name chiu chiu um so yeah charizard with the choice specs and solar power is going to be hitting just as hard in ZU, but there is still, you know, just because it's ZU doesn't mean there's not bulky Pokemon. If not, there might be bulkier and more annoying Pokemon like Doxbun. Quite a few things that can still switch in and be kind of annoying, but I mean, we're still going to be hitting really hard if they don't have one of those guys. So, um, and also something to mention is that there's a Bomb Snow in the tier, um, and I believe Hippopotas could be used down here as well in terms of other weathers we could fight. I already fought an Obama Snow and I lost, I think. But yeah, it's something to keep in mind. Then we have Vulpix. Uh, Vulpix's stats aren't great. I really don't know where to put the EVs. I'm just going with the speed because then maybe it can do something before it dies. But ideally, it just kind of comes in and switches out or comes in and healing wishes. Maybe it can outspeed stuff. It is faster than Obama Snow with max speed. I believe it probably kills it with overheat. I didn't calc it, but it probably does. Then we just have the same moves Nine Tails would usually run in Terra Water for a defensive Terra type. He Rock and drought are allowed at the moment so that's why we're using this instead of like manual sun and because of uh having this i don't have any actual sunny day users but i don't really like having to click sunny day anyway so i'd rather just use bull picks and then we have sand slash for some hazard control because we are running choice specs on charizard it is four times weak to stealth rock so we want some hazard control so we have sand slash and hatrum sand slash just has leftovers and standard sand slash stuff i have terra ghost it could be terra water but I was like, Terra Ghost sounds kind of fun. We don't have a Ghost type, and we have two Grass types on the team anyway, so, you know, it's something a little different. I don't really know. I, I, I've, I've tested a few games with it. I haven't didn't get a whole lot of games very quickly, so I was like, let's just record. And then we have the Hatrum. Oh, and we can get up Spikes. I don't know if it'd be better to have Rocks, but I'm like, ah, oh, let's just go with Spikes. But then Hatrum, we have Psychic, uh, Mystical Fire Nuzzle. It's like the typical supporting Hatterene set, except we're not a Fairy type, so Terra Fairy instead of Terra Steel, I think is better defensive terror type than steel for us but maybe steel or something else would be better than uh healing wish to be able to pass healing wish we have two healing wish users so that's kind of cool and then with the eject button it gets when it gets hit it switches out so it's a pivot in that way yeah the double healing wish is kind of cool i haven't i think i only clicked it like once and it's been all right but then we have uh leafeon and victory bell this i did use skull villain in the sun pretty recently and i use victory bell and hatrum i don't think sand slash was in zu at the time so I just had Hatcherman and Victory Bell in common, but uh, Leafeon was something I was considering then. And Leafeon's really good. Uh, it's the fastest, I believe, chlorophyll user down here. Uh, oh wait, Jump Bluff might be faster. 
yeah, jump ups faster. I was considering, but I think uh, Leafeon, because it is also the strongest, uh, besides, I guess, Executor or Lilligant, but the strongest physical attacker, I, I swapped, I was back and forth with Solar Blade and Leaf Blade. I decided to just go back to Solar Blade. I changed it after the Hail game. And I was like, nah, I'll just go back. But uh, Solar Blade's uh, stronger than Leaf Blade. It's like Solar, Bl uh, Solar Beam, except for a physical grass type attack. And then Leaf Blade is 90 base power and this is 125. Solar Blade or Solar Beam is even weaker. Yeah, so this is even stronger, but it's a physical move, so it's harder to use i think than solar beam or whatever intimidate and stuff rocky helmet but uh then we have knockoff for just some nice coverage and i was going double edge but i'm like let's go terra blast because you have the benefit of like a nice uh terra type that kind of goes with it clicking double edge anyways like i don't know the situations i'd want to click that so if if we're in a situation where we would have wanted to click double edge maybe terra blast would be better is kind of what i was thinking and it has been really good in testing having a fire move outside of the sun on like like weather ball on victory bell you know if the sun ends you can still tear blast tear fire something and that's pretty good and yeah we're really fast really strong we have life orb to boost and solar sword stands to boost our attack and yeah knock off removes items and then we have uh last guy victory bell pretty straightforward growth it's just like venusaur you boost your attack and special attack by two in the sun chlorophyll uh life orb Sludge Wave, just because it's stronger than Sludge Bomb, and then Giga Drain. Could go something else, but Giga Drain's kind of nice with the, you know, Life Orb recoil. It heals you as well. And then Weather Ball in the Sun turns into a Fire Move and Terra Fire to get a stab on that. But yeah, hopefully we can uh, get Charizard to just kind of wall break and then these guys clean up. But uh, it'll probably be a mix and we'll be probably running into someone Burden Teams and Sceptile, but I think we'll be all right. Uh, this thing's, the I think Sun is pretty crazy right now, but I don't, I don't really know. Uh, but I think it is pretty good, so I think we'll be okay. All right, we got one against Chuglet. Our uh, our fire guy looks pretty good. My cargo doesn't have great spadef, but it is going to be taking quite a bit of damage. Still, probably. Uh, or I'm sorry. So my cargo is a rock fire type, so four times resist fire. But it doesn't have great spadef, so it'll probably be taking quite a bit of damage in the sun still. And we outspeed everything besides Persian. So Vulpix or Charizard will be pretty good. I think maybe we just lead Vulpix and go from there. We can use um, Hatchram as a pivot, I think, right away. I think we just go for it. And let's see if Charizard can kill Cramorant. Maybe being Terrifier is the play, because without... Let's see. Yeah, we don't kill him, sadly. Oh, they're stockpiling. That's not fun. Let's nuzzle if we can. Oh, cool. All right, we get a nuzzle. Then let's go. Are they going to spit up? Let's just psychic to weaken them. Because we saw that we uh, don't do too much damage. All right. Oh, that does nothing. Okay. So they have all the spit F, but we don't have a rock type move. Hmm, we could go. Surf Hurricane. I think let's go Leafy on here and we'll just knock off. We're going to lose this probably, but... I mean, maybe I should just Solar Blade, but... Seeing you knock off their item, then they don't have the recovery. <laughs> we can take a Surf for sure. And cool, they go Weezing. And then we can probably hard switch into Victory Bell, I was thinking, but maybe not. They have Will-O-Wisp. They could also have Flamethrower, Sludge Bomb. Maybe we go back into Hatchram. Okay, we get another little burn. Our status with Hatchram. I mean, click Nuzzle, click Psychic, but they could go Persian. Or we could double into Toast. Let's double into Toast. Try and get a fire move off. Hopefully they don't go Persian. Okay, they go Cramorant. I think we're okay to just click a move here. Let's click Fire Blast. Just do as much as we can. Okay, I'd say that's pretty good. Cool. Well, we can just Fire Blast and finish him off. Although we will get paralyzed. But we could Healing Wish. 
Of course we miss. Well, they roosted, so. All right. Um, let's go Vulpix, get this on. Click Encore. All right, and then we can go right back in in Charizard, or we could go something else, like Victory Bell, maybe, on, like, Persian. Let's try that. In case they go Persian, because it is faster than everything we have. Maybe. Yeah, if we did hit that, I think they would, you know, they probably would have died, and then we could have... Okay, cool. They go this. And uh, we would have gotten paralyzed, but we could have healing wished and healed the full and, and healed the status off. So, all right. If we tear up fire, I don't think we can die. I mean, they could go for the rock move, but... And if they shell smash, we'll still be faster. Tear up fire, this doesn't seem bad. Although... Then we can't tear uh, anything else. I don't really want to lose a guy right now, so I think let's just Terra Fire this, and we'll click Giga Drain. Oh, we didn't do very much. Sludge Bomb, uh, is, that one, oh, maybe that would have been, that would have been just as strong, whoops. Make cargo. Damn it, Sludge Bomb, no, it wouldn't have been, okay. Oh yeah, it's rock resisted or whatever, okay. Does Power Gem kill us as a fire type now? It could actually. All right, let's go Sand Slash, then we'll Earthquake. Or we could even Spike. I think it's Earthquake. They can go Crime Ramp, but we're wheezing. That Terra Fire probably wasn't great. Mm, knock off or Surf. Let's go Knock Off. Get rid of that. And their Surf is weakened too. Okay. Let's go... Surf, Roost. They must have a flying move, or maybe they do have Spit Up. I think I'll go Hatchum. I think I'll store Healing Wish. Then we'll go Vulpix. And we can Encore them. Or we just go like right into something. Yeah, go Vulpix. Encore. I'm sure they'll switch, or they could switch, you know? Then we can go back in a Charizard, maybe. I think of that. I think going Victory Bell could be okay. They could have Thunder Wave, though, which would be really annoying. Never used this dude yet. Yeah, this guy can uh, parting shot, thunder wave, foul play, knock off, U turn. You know, we're just gonna click overheat. Okay, I think we might do quite a bit. Does Furco make them have weak spidef? No. Oh, that's fluffy. Okay, okay. All right. Um, because they taunted, I feel more comfortable switching into like Victory Bell, maybe. Let's do it. They amnesia. Okay. So let's just fire off some attacks here. Let's go for Sludge Wave. Oh, Giga Drain will do enough. And I'll do more to Meg Cargo. It doesn't... Oh, I forgot they had the Spideff Rays. I don't know why I'm, like, forgetting everything. All right, then we'll Sludge Wave. Okay. I didn't want to go for Growth in case they went for Foul Play. And then we would definitely die. 
right, victory battles getting to click buttons. Such a way would have killed there. I probably should have just went for it. All right, wiggly tough now. Okay, I'm guessing everything's just some bulky setup, which is pretty cool. So, I think let's growth. Because I think they're going to set up and do something like that. So, now we can just hit them with whatever we need. Although, uh, we actually can't use Weatherwell now because I'm stupid. So, I could go for Giga Drain. Probably actually do decent damage. Let's go for it once. If we need to, we could always Encore him. Hmm, what do they have? Sub. I'm just gonna Giga Drain again. We'll, we should break it. What do they have? Calm Mind again. Okay, then we'll go Vulpix. We'll Encore. The Vulpix is coming coming in clutch. Okay. Now we'll go Sand Slash. They go for the fire move. It is what it is, but we don't need Sand Slash really. As much, I don't think. I can go for Earthquake. Or we could double predicting like something else to come in. I think it's just Earthquake though. They go back into Cramorant. Hmm. I think let's go. What is what does it have better? Ram. Is it better defense? Oh, it is better spit off. All right, let's go Leafeon. We resist and the sun is up. Cool. So then they don't have. Oh, they could have. They probably do actually have flame body on that. And it does make contact. Let's see though. Do we get burned? We do not. Well. Terra Blast, uh... No, it doesn't kill. You got this, my team just can't crack sun. Yeah, it's pretty... Sun's pretty crazy right now, but... Hey, that was a pretty good first one. I probably uh, could have done some stuff better, but... Damn, alright, we got one right away. Is this the guy we just fought? No, I, I fought this guy when I was testing. Okay, so... Except, did he have a... Uh, this guy might have had hail before, I can't remember. Alright, either way, let's, um... They don't have weather, so we could just lead Volpix and then use Hatchum to pivot on something. They lead this. Sure, let's go Hatchum. We also have Sand, sand Slash. They can just go for the Ice move. Ice move is pretty, I mean, unless they really are scared of the Volpix, but. All right, they go for the rocks and we actually get them up or get to get them up on their side. They're going to wrap a spin though now. Well, we're actually faster. Unless they have a lot of speed. Unless they're like cussed app. Max speed. Okay. So they're probably that. Mm, do they have body press though? Let's say they don't. Or I mean, uh, do they have uh, the rock move? Let's say they have body press and the ice move instead. Which means Charizard's probably okay enough so i think we can just click weather ball no they have rock blast oh well well we could go hatrum and probably live a hit let's see avalug offensive mountain gale doesn't kill us so we could go Hatchum right now and finish them off and then they can't get up rocks. Let's do that. And I want to nuzzle, but you know, why not? I'm thinking uh, Mystical Fire could be better into the Electros, but... Darn it, I kind of wish I uh, didn't lose the Charizard there, but it's all right. I think we have enough to be able to win. After a boost, Victory Bell is pretty scary for everything. 
Miss Magius. I th believe they had sub on their last one. I'm just gonna attack with mystical fire. Okay, they kill us. Then we can go Leafeon and Sword Stance. Or knockoff. I think we Sword Stance though and do we kill Quillfish though? At plus one? Leafeon plus one to Quillfish. Physical wall. We need a spike up. Okay, they go Embor. Well, I don't think this lives at plus two. Yeah, and they're not faster with the scarf. Cool, that works. And Quillfish comes in, maybe. Although they do see we have Solar Blade now, so maybe they're not as scared. They go this. Could probably tear a fire and kill them. They'll go for, maybe they'd go for U-turn, but I'm thinking like knockoff or Brave Bird. Becoming a fire type. Or I mean, or we could go Sand Slash. Oh, this is a speed tie too, so I kinda wanna just do this. All right, well, this is dead. <laughs> then we go Vulpix, Encore, Healing Wish. Depending on what they do here, but I think we sack this. All right, and then we can go. We could probably even go this, this doesn't get a fire move, I don't think, anymore. Does it? Miss Magius. Does it get Mystical Fire? It does get Mystical Fire. I think let's go Leafeon. And... We just Leaf Blade twice. That probably actually to a kills Quillfish, or it might be close. Ah, we kill ourselves with a Rocky Helmet. Okay. And they had Thunder Wave on their last one. Let's see, does Victory Bell kill Quillfish? It does. Okay, so go Victory Bell. Go for Giga Drain. Hopefully they're not like Terra Grass. Go Electros. Um, I think we can Growth. And then Giga Drain. They knock off. Okay, that's actually kind of good. So now we won't be taking as much recoil. We'll Giga Drain then Sludge Wave. Oh, and they have Dragon Tail. Okay. They they did have Giga Drain on their last one as well. So I'm gonna go back into this. They tear steel. Weather ball? But yeah, Miss Magius probably just cleans up. Alright, I gotta watch out for the rock move on and have a look. <gasps> Alright, we'll Giga Drain. Sand Slash, Terra Fairy, and we lose. Wait, no, they, they didn't. They already terra Why am I saying that? We actually could have won, potentially. It was pretty close. If I got a spike up, uh, right? Wasn't there a situation where there was a spike? Would have come in handy? I can't remember. Oh, we already found one. Sick. All right. Vulpix, Vulpix Hatch from four. Mmm... I think we just lead Toast. And depending on what they lead, just click a move. Charizard, Typhlosion, Scorching Sands. If they switch in their own Charizard, that'll be kind of annoying. They like Toast. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so they're using Hatrum to pivot. <laughs> they probably know where Spike's based off of that, so. Yeah, they're going into Frostmoth. Hmm. I think we go Vulpix and maybe try an Encore. Because Vulpix is kind of expendable. All right, and then we can go... Leafeon. Okay. Even if they're scarfed, um, we're faster. But we're not going to kill them. I've made that mistake before where I thought I'm going to kill a Typhlosion and I do not. Um, so, I mean, I could tear a fire to survive like anything and go for like a knockoff. And with them, it's safe. 45% at the highest. Eruption's not going to be doing very much. Oh, but in the sun. We'll be doing quite a lot. Fire Last would still kill us. So, after Life Orb. Neither of us actually led the Vulpix. We both thought the other guy would lead it. I mean, I, I didn't want to... I wanted to lead uh, Charizard because of... It's pretty decent. I didn't want to give him the sun. Um... You use Hatrum? I think that's a better idea then. Yeah, I think that's a better idea. Give him Hatrum. And does that tell us anything? It's probably Specs, maybe? I don't know. It could be Scarfed. Um, Well, we could go Victory Bell, Terra Fire, survive and hit them with a Sludge Wave. And they're probably locked in. I think let's try that. And we got a crit. Well, that sucks. Because that not would not have killed. But we did find out they were uh, scarfed from that they were still faster all right this comes in mm. our shift tree is always faster i don't think i can hard switch into leafy on though let's go vulpix and they go for knockoff and their life orb and we die okay we could go leafy on solar blade them or we go toast and just click a fire move because we can now. Let's do that. I don't think we died anything. Charizard to shift tree. So this basically forces us to trade something. And I think weather ball probably does enough. We'll just click weather ball. Okay, and we're actually gonna live. And we're going to be able to switch a moves because he knocked, so. Just kidding. I thought it was Life Orb. I'm like, 10%. We're, we're still living. Alright, and they Terra fighting that. I think we have to go Leafeon because of how scary the Frost Moth is. They go Charizard. Mmm... I'm not in a good spot here. I could knock off. But then pretty much anything else I send out next just dies. I think let's just wrap it up. I don't think... Uh, and they're expert pal. That's pretty cool. Let's go for a rapid spin. Oh, there's solar beam. Maybe we live. Nope. I could have switched into Victory Bell, but then they could just do anything else the next turn. <laughs> Damn. The Frost Moth is terrifying. And yeah, maybe having another physical attacker to be good. Or maybe I don't need as much, like, hazard stuff as I have. I have Hatchram and Sand Slash make... Like, maybe it's not necessary right now, because... There's a lot of offense. 
Although we did run into that really bulky team as well. Yeah, I should have went um should have went Charizard here. But if I went Charizard, then then they could just go their own Charizard. So maybe Specs Charizard's a mistake because I I I, I lock into Scorching Sands, and if they have a flying type like Charizard or a bug type, although they did Terra hit, but yeah, if I was having duty boots, I think I would have gone Charizard here and went for Scorching Sands, and then yeah, could have been different maybe. All right, hugs and drugs. Let's go, Bullpix. I think just because they don't have weather, and then we'll go something from there. All right, Ampharos. We might kill this, although this is bulkier than, let's see, Ampharos AV. In the sun. We can kill this. <laughs> we can definitely kill this. Ampharos. What the heck? I... I, I was I'm trying to find an assault vest set, but they have no assault vest set down here. Alright, um Let me go hatch them. Meteor beam. And they miss. It's kind of unfortunate because I kinda of wanted to switch out there. Let's click mystical fire. Kind of end up in the same spot. Except there'll be a plus two, but we can Kill him with uh, Charizard, I think. I go Charizard. I think even if they tear a dragon, they're offensive. So, in the sun, yeah, we should kill them with a. Uh... Let's go for the uh, weather ball. Cool. I just I hate missing, so I, fire blast would be nice, like for Quillfish or a Terra or a Kuno, but. Um, yeah. Toast kills everything, though. Scarfed Pissimian could come in right now. You go Quillfish. If, ah, oh, if I, if I went for Fire Blast and I had Terra Fire, we'd still kill this. What? Apparently we can still kill it. I guess let's do that. Oh, they're sashed! And they had gunk shot. No, <laughs> dang it. Um, let's go. Man, nobody wants to take a gunk shot, so I can't be setting up now. Could go. Leafion. No, Victory Bell's probably better. To hit everything. Except for the Haunter, I guess, kind of. Ah, let's try, let's try Victory Bell. Because pazimian has got pretty good Fizz Def, too. When the sun ends, we don't have a grass move on this. and We can't hit Articuno. We'd have to tear off for sure. So, I don't know. Let's just try this. And we'll go for um, Weather Ball. And then... Uh, we are slower. Let's see, 284 times 1.5. No, we are faster than Pissimian. Um, Haunter, 317 times 1.5. We are also faster than Scarf Haunter. So any Scarfers they have, uh, if either of these are Scarf, this is faster. And then Leafeon is for sure faster. On this, could give a Patrum and then go Leafeon and just fire off a big attack. Solar Blade should do a good chunk. If they go Articuno, then we'll go Vulpix and go from there, I think. Maybe. Oh, we just kill him. All right. Cool. We could surprise him with the Terrifier Fire Blast or Terrifier Terror Blast. I think we just give up Vulpix. They go for Encore. We could go for Encore. Let's try it. Or just click Overheat. Now let's click Encore in case they have like, I don't know, Sub Disable or something. We have one damaging move on this Pokemon. We'll click Healing Wish. Then we'll go... Victory Bell? 
They have better Fizz Def. Or bit better Spadaf. Haunter. Leafeon. Even if they tear a fairy, do we still kill him? No. Solar Blade still does. Alright. Yeah, let's go Leafeon. We'll click Solar Blade. Apparently that still kills. Wait. If they're Evil Light, does it kill? It doesn't. Well, they went Articuno, thankfully. Alright. I think I think we're good to Terra. They wouldn't be going for the flying move. I don't think so. Cool. And then Pissimian. We just have to win in three turns. Actually, no. We have Sand Slash, so we just have to kill Haunter in three turns. Um, we can just click Terra Blast. Oh, they're sashed on this too. Okay, well, thankfully Victory Bell is faster as well. Play Giga Drain. Giga Drain, and then we, we also have Sand Slash, so. I'm tired, so this is the perfect team for me right now. Just click. <laughs> we win quick or we lose quick. Click it. Click damaging moves. Click big damaging moves. Is Weather Ball stronger here? I can never remember. We don't kill. I'm a, I'm a Calcut. We don't have Stab, but it's boosted by 50% in the sun, right? So it's 150 base power, and then Giga Drain is 75 times 1.5. So Weather Ball would definitely be stronger there, right? Click Earthquake and should be good. Let's look. Victory Bell to Passimian. In the sun. Yeah, Weather Ball is stronger. Okay, cool. I went for the right move. Damn, that did a lot. Let's go. We're finding them so fast. All right. I did see somebody mention like a uh, a draining kiss mesprit something or other set. So we'll have to be careful of that setting up. Executor could be scary with like a custap harvest set. Let's just lead Volpix and go from there. Hmm. Can go more Pico. I'm sorry. We can go Hatchem on more Pico. But if they knock, then. We're just dead. If we go Sand Slash, could he get up a spike or earthquake something or knock off? I think they would knock off, so. They parting shot it. Darn it. Oh, that would have been so good. We would have gotten we would have pivoted out on them. Alright, let's go. Hatchum. They call mines. Let's go fire. Okay. We get pivoted out. Let's go toast, I think. They're probably, um, they're probably cussed at Barry. So, we're going to probably just fire off attack here. Then we'll sack Hatchum, then go Leafy on a knockoff. Ah, but it won't work because if they endure, they get at the end of the turn, I think, right? So. I think Weather Balls will do enough. Should do enough. So I do have Protect. Alright, how much does this do? Dang it! Oh shit, I should have went for Fire Blast. That kind of sucks. Um, They definitely go for Salt Cure. I think I'd rather go Sand Slash first. And knock off. Get rid of the uh, uh, Violet. Go for Curse. And... Okay, so this is a setup thing. Could go for Earthquake and probably do a decent amount. Or we could get, a, get up a Spike. Let's go for Earthquake. Because if we can get them to go for Recover, as we go Vulpix, we can Encore. Maybe they just saw Cure again, though. Okay, they go into this. Hmm. Flamethrower. Dragon move or Grass move? Let's do Hatchum. Knackle stack. Psychic might kill. 
I kind of don't think it will, but... Let's go Sand Slash again. And... I'm gonna get up a Spike. Okay, then we can go Hatchrum. Okay, cool. And then we can go Toast. Go for the Fire move. We are getting low, which kind of stinks. And we weren't able to Healing Wish with the Hatchrum, but... They tear water. Oh, and they barely live. And they're Citrus. Okay. And they went for a Calm Mind. Hmm. I wonder if Victory Bell still kills them. Executor, Alola, Alolan, Terra Water, at plus one Spadef. 61. No! All right, let me go Vulpix. And should I just, no, that was a, I, I, I don't know why I thought I could do that. I think it's way too early to lose the sun. I could tear water. I could encore. Will o wisp, overheat, encore. Hmm. Yeah, let's Encore. Okay, then we'll Healing Wish. So they're locked in, so they can't, at least, at least they can't stall out our turns. Go Toast. Now we can click the Fire move. Um, we might have to click Fire Blast here. I should be going for Fire Blast earlier if I have to, just because I have more stuff to kind of get the game back. Uh, let's say... Sure, Iron Press, but they have no of eye light in the sun. With a spike at 82, does that kill? Does Weather Ball kill? Okay, what about Embor in the sun? Weather Ball also kills. But Pylosane is pretty bulky. Let's see, Pylo Sands in the sun. Weather Ball kills. Mesprit? Mesprit. Let's say defensive setup in the sun. Oh, okay. Okay. So we can just uh, click Weather Ball, looks like. Wait, wait. Does it does it kill Executor? Tear water. Plus one. In the sun. It's a good chance. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, cool. That's one. We will tear grass if they go M boar right here. Or tear whatever. This should just kill. No! Fuck, they have protect on this too? Alright, so they're gonna sack something else and go right back into this. Fuck, alright. Just kidding. Well, we can Weather Ball or Fire Blast, switch out and come back in if we need to. Have we shown Solar Blade? We haven't. But our Leafeon, if we tear this, is not going to be very good. Okay, so they're going to Sucker Punch or they're Scarfed. Um, I'm thinking they're not scarfed, but they could be. Do we need Terra Fire? I think Leafeon might do enough as a grass type. So I think we just tear this just in case. Okay. 
Then we go leave Yan. Charizard was pretty good there. That executor I played like shit around. Uh, Solar Blade, like most definitely kills, right? I could sword stance here, but I, I don't know if I should have to be honest. Um, we're faster than Mesprit. This doesn't have Will O Wisp. Solo Blade probably kills. Let's see. Oh, if I don't go for it now, I will. I won't have the opportunity to later on. Hilo Sands. Yeah, after a spike. Solar Blade. Are they helmet? Colberberry, probably Colberberry. All right, Mesprit. I think maybe we SD then. Oh no, there's Carved. Shit. Well, I lost. I didn't think they were Scarfed. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I should have uh, not. <laughs> I went into a victory bell on flamethrower and then I should have just knocked off there. I thought of a I thought of using that set before, but I've, I've never run it and I don't I don't think I've ever seen anybody else run it, but it's a really cool one because it uses that that uh, signature move 100% percent chance to raise the user's attack. That's pretty sick. All right, we got one and they have some crazy shit. Um, they have the grassy train on bird and stuff. So. I mean, could just lead with toast and go from there. But they also could lead Avalug. So. I'm curious, what how much does Volpix take if we were to like Will O Wisp them? Um, Avalug. Excuse me. Offensive. If we burn them. Oh! Let's lead Avalug. Let's click Will O Wisp. Let's go, Vulpix. I mean, I, I could go Hatchrim and do the same thing as last time, but I just wanted to try and do something different. So this will break their sturdy. Darn it. They do get the thing, though. Well. Could go Sand Slash. Um, let's try it. They'd have to tear a ghost. Oh, they go Thwacky. All right, cool. So we get the get rid of that. Their sturdy's broken. They do have a cuss app though, but they're burned. Um. But now they're going to be going to one of their unburdened guys. I don't think I can be in with this. I think I need to be in with like Charizard or Leafeon or Victory Bell or something. Could go Hatchrim actually on the U-turn. Let's do that. Cool. So they're they're stuck, and now we get to get in Charizard. We get to get in Toast and click Fire Move. I think. Oh, the ball. Okay. Dodrio, Drift Blim, probably are the switch ins. Yeah, it gets a defense raise. It's going to be doing plenty of damage. I think we might need to hold on to this to like try and break through Alchemy and Frigograph. So let's go. We could sack Hatchrim. That didn't do that much. Um, I think let's healing. No, no, no. Let's. Mystical fire in case they like, I don't know, do something. Or maybe we nuzzle. Let's nuzzle. No! Okay, I should have mystical fired. Well. We can go sand slash after this. Uh, go Vulpix into sand slash, I guess. Mystical Fire wouldn't have done very much. I'm, or it wouldn't have killed, is all I'm trying to say. So it's not too big of a deal, I don't think. Let's go for Healing Wish. All right. Then let's go... Bullpix. 
click. Encore? I mean, what do we do here? Uh, yeah, I can't win. I think I just lose to this. <laughs> um, Encore if we can. Then we'll go... Get to go Leafeon and... Go for Solar Blade. But we probably die. Sand Slash does not do enough. This is, I think, our best bet. We probably die, though. Yep. Well, let's get another one real quick. All right, sweet, we got one. Um, we're fighting the same guy again, but it is what it is. All right, let's leave Vulpix. I think I lost to him anyways, so I'm sure he doesn't mind. All right, Vulpix, Avalug. We will click Will-O-Wisp this time. We will do what we just did. And they go for rocks. Then we will go Sand Slash and Knock Off on their Miss Magius. Rock Blast, go for Knock. They go for Mountain Gale, and this sucks. Oh, we got flinched anyways. Well, let's go for Knock Off again. All right, we get rid of the Cust app. And... Hmm. I could go hatch from here and then go toast. Let's go hatch from. I would like to maybe be able to rapid spin, so. Then let's go Leafeon. Leafeon should kill. I think. Solar Blade. Okay. Maybe I should have went right for the rapid spin. I thought for sure they'd go into um, Miss Magius. And now we're like super low. So it'll be kind of hard to rapid spin, but. All right. Embor, Avalug, Bombardier. Pretty much any of those can come in. Embor. Um. Could Solar Blade? It would. It's a two eight KO, but then we're gonna lose this. But they do have Miss Magius. Or I mean, Quillfish. And Bombardiers. I think let's just like Solar Blade and get a lot of damage and Victory Bell could finish them off, probably. Flare Blitz. Alright. Then we'll go Victory Bell. And we'll go for Sludge Wave. Okay, Electros. Ooh, this would potentially be the guy to wrap it's been on, but they can still just go Miss Magius, which sucks. Hatrum. Ooh, we get actually Healing Wish. Sand Slash, here. Let's do that. We should be faster and yeah. All right, so I can wrap it spin. Um, and if they stay in or try and pivot, we'll get the spin off. Or they go Miss Magius. I think they should go Miss Magius. So I'm going to knock off, and they don't. Do they go it now? Ah. Uh. They've got to go into it now. Like, there's no point for them not to. But this is my last chance to wrap it spin. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to. Please. 
We still have Terra, right? Maybe there's a chance. Charizard can kill this without the solve S easily. Could Terra kill Embor? All right, we get it. Okay. Cool. Then we can go Vulpix. Or even just go Toast, maybe, and just kill him. Charizard to Electros without an Assault Vest. Although they haven't teared either. No, we need the Sun. Alright, we'll go Vulpix. And yeah, we'll click Encore, then we'll go and go into anything. That's pretty good. Let's go. I don't think, yeah, this, this team didn't have the, the Quillfish that was whatever. So let's go Toast. We're going to take uh, the, the damage when we come in, but I don't think uh, Victory Bell kills everything, so. Um, Terra Ground. I can't remember. I think the other one was... I think that was another game that I Terra Grounded and then went for Sucker Punch. So I'm just going to click Weather Ball, I think. Actually, not. Nah, we're clicking Fire Blast. They are Scarfed! God damn it! And they went for that move? The fuck? That sucks. Well. Hmm. This is too a KO'd. But we don't kill Quillfish, they probably have Thunder Wave. And they just Terra Steel anyways, so. I mean, we, we could Healing Wish this, but we're going to have to be able to get Vulpix in and get it off. And then even still, probably Growth on top of that. So. Alright, Quillfish. Um... Yeah, we died a gunk shot. Victory Bell to Quillfish. Maybe they don't have it. I guess that's like what I have to hope for. Or they can miss. Okay. But they can go Embor and then kill everything. That works just as well. Maybe you could slide in um, Sunny Day on Vulpix. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, they're going Smagius. All right, go Vulpix. Maybe we can Encore Healing Wish. I'm going to overheat first. I, I want to get them going for sub, but I think I've already shown... Yeah, I've already shown Encore, so... I think I overheat. Ah, darn it. Well, maybe they go for sub anyways, but they, they should definitely just Shadow Ball. Oh, okay. Well, then we can go... This and... Victory Bell to Miss Magius. Although, if they're Scarfed on this guy... We're probably slower, right? 289 times 1.5. No, no, no. Okay, so no Scarf would outspeed us. Do we do enough damage to this without a life orb? Yes, but they're just going to spam sub anyways. So I don't think there's anything we can really do. Actually, I didn't go for it there, though. So... 
Well, it is what it is. I think, I think if, uh, if I went for Giga Drain, would I have two it KO'd? No, I wouldn't have anyways, so. I would have gotten a little health back. So maybe it would have worked out, but. Either way, I think let's call it there. Um, I had fun using the team. I'm sorry, I feel tired and a little off if if it comes across if I'm coming across that way, but I, I had fun nonetheless, and I'm having trouble. I'm I'm sure I'm saying things that don't make sense, but I had fun using the team, and there'll be a pokey paste in the description. I'm curious to see if this will get banned, um, along with like the the other stuff that was banned, but it's fun. I think I don't think any of these Pokemon maybe will get banned, but maybe maybe Sun will probably, but. I don't know how high it is on like the priority list of stuff that needs to be handled. It might be pretty high up there, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.